What's going on guys? Today I want to go over what I thought of my 2021 streamer kit and what I would fish differently or what I would do differently coming to 2022. So this year for when I'm fishing streamers for smallmouth or for trout, um, I'm typically fishing a slightly heavier rod, um, whether it be a six weight like here, uh, or perhaps the, um, the eight weight version. This is an Outlaw uh, Wanted series, uh, and I'm on that I have a Qualify Razorback or the Carbon Tech, but I like the Razorback for this application, and an intermediate six or seven weight line. Uh, and truthfully, I think one of my favorite things about fishing this rod is that the price point allows me to get to places where most people don't want to fish and bash around a little bit, uh, being responsible, but, but not feeling like I'm going to ruin something that cost me $1,000. And it still gives me a great punch. like this rod a lot. does a really good thing. Uh, really does like this rod a lot. And so cut it after what I just said, but like cut that out. What I like about this rod is it delivers the payload well um, while still being at a decent price point for most people to be able to get in a mid-priced, mid mid-tier mid rod. Um, it does a great job. Uh, the reel also, super uh, great value. Um, and then the line I believe is a Snowbee um, uh, Intermediate 2 uh, Predator line. Uh, this year my streamer fishing has been limited because I've had access to trout uh, in good dry fly lies quite often. And so what I will say about fishing it for bass is that um, it's a nice medium action rod compared to many six weights that I've fished. And it gives me the opportunity to really set the hook in a, in a strip hook or like a strip set and then get the fish into the belly of the rod and turn the head a little bit easier. Um, sometimes really fast rods feel so tip heavy that like uh, you can't bury the hook and then keep it on the rod. You have to almost put too much pressure to get a good bend in the rod and keep the fish pinned. This doesn't have that problem and that's why I really dig it. Um, this has been a great freshwater rod system. Uh, I would suggest though that if I were to get a slight difference for predator fishing specifically, I would probably have a small micro fighting butt on here only to give me the option to put the belly in my belly and then uh, you know fight the fish at a lower angle um, instead of having it braced or in my belly with the bottom of this on a bigger bass or a bigger or, or, or a pike for example. That would be the only thing I would say. Um, but other than that it's been a great piece of kit. Hopefully this video was fun and a good insight on my predator fishing and my, my streamer fishing. Um, if it was, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, check out the other videos in the playlist, and please check out our merch. We have awesome uh, fly fishing merch, streamer junkie stuff down below, uh, linked both in the description and in the comments. Uh, we would love your support. It really helps the channel. Um, awesome hats and everything else as well. So please help support the channel. It'd be wonderful. We're trying to grow and uh, reach more people. But until next time, guys, catch you guys on the flip side in tight lines.